Hey everybody, what's up? It's Babylonius from PeakofSerenity.com here with another uh, Mythic Commentary Guide video, uh, this time on Mythic Sun King Salvation, um, also known as Mythic Kael'thas. Um, uh, really, this is a very interesting fight, so there's kind of a lot I'm going to talk about and a lot of things that um, you kind of have to des decide uh, how you want to go about this fight. Um, so for before I get into that, um, you can check out more information about myself, my UI, my Twitch channel and stuff below. Um, in the description, you can also check out uh, peakofserenity.com and, and the Discord uh, for more information about Windwalkers and Monks, as well as support me through Patreon and PayPal, and all that dis uh, that information is in the description. Um, so to get started with Sun King, um, to look primarily at the uh, talent choices, you have a lot of decisions um, when it comes to uh, these talent choices. Um, mainly in that, you know, what decisions do you want to make to prioritize your damage? Realistically, um, you're going to want to take Chi Burst. There's a lot of other targets in this fight, so Chi Burst is very useful. Um, Eye of the Tiger, you know, Chi Wave is technically the only thing that will heal Kael'thas in this row, but you're not, that's not really going to do anything. It's just one hit. Um, you know, so it really is not going to do very much. Um, however, Chi Burst does provide, you know, the most resources and damage because there's multiple targets. Uh, Tiger's Lust is going to be the go-to as usual. Um, Ascension and Fist of the White Tiger are going to be um, very close here. Um, the main part is that, you know, Fist of the White Tiger is a little bit more comfortable. Um, however, Ascension does allow you to pool a little bit more. So it's it's a give and take. There might be a lot of downtime or time where you're just spent, you know, if you want to be spam healing Kael'thas and helping uh, the healers a little bit, you're going to want to use Ascension because Ascension provides you more energy. Um, other things like damaging the shade, which I'll talk about, you know, they're mostly interchangeable, um, but as a default, Fist of the White Tiger. Um, for this one, I recommend using Ring of Peace. It can be very useful to help keep the ads together as well as he keep the phoenixes um, far apart. Um, you'll see that I use that in, in the video. Um, so it's very useful um, just to kind of help control all of the targets. So I definitely recommend Ring of Peace. Um, I recommend Diffuse Magic. There's a lot of magic damage going on, um, big hits, little hits, and stuff like that. So Diffuse Magic can be very useful. Um, inner Strength also can be useful because um, you tend to be doing a lot of, you tend to be doing your damage when damage is going out. Um, however, you know, it's just a small, um, you know, 10% damage reduction, so it's not something that's going to save your life in many situations. So Diffuse Magic is the reasonable option. Um, lastly, you know, you're going to default to using Dance of Chi-Gi, um, certainly if you want to look great on the meters. The only exception would be that Hit Combo should technically provide a little bit more burst damage um, or a little bit more damage to the shade to get through the shade um, once you're, you know, you should be able to go into that with six stacks and, and pump that single target damage um, a little bit more. Dance of chi -Gi will help more with the adds um, as well as certainly, you know, you could save a Dance of chi -Gi proc in order to use it when the shield is up for, you know, a very small um, but additional, you know, chunk of damage. Um, Whirling Dragon Punch again, you know, we kind of use it for everything. Um, so the next, the last thing, you know, before I get into the video is talking about conduits. Um, that's something that, again, you really have to, to decide what you want to do. You can use coordinated offensive and calculated strikes um, in order to really maximize your spinning crane kick damage and, you know, really utilize all the targets just to do a lot of additional damage and look great on the meters. Um, my personal recommendation, recommendation would to focus on single target um, damage. Windwalker AOE damage is not lacking when you need it. Um, however, uh, the shades of Kael'thas are really the big thing that it's going to uh, risk you you failing this fight um, in terms of damage check. The other aspects are really more healers, you know. So you, I, I personally advocate for focusing really more on a single target fight. Um, this is not a fight that is in all stars. You cannot rank on this fight, or you can rank, but it does not count to your overall rankings, you know, so uh, take that into consideration. I personally could care less about this boss. Um, I think it's fun, you know, don't get me wrong, um, but in terms of, you know, going through farm and doing it, it's not one that I really care about. Um, if I'm, if uh, I'll get, if I go in, I'm in, if not, I'm not, um, I don't care about pushing my DPS or looking good on the meters um, for this fight, and you'll see that um, as we get in here, so. 
So let's get started. Um, right off the bat, you're going to be dealing with two occultists on either side, as well as um, these other targets. You're going to want to be attentive. The occultists are kind of the biggest priority targets. Um, and you're also going to not want to blow up Darathos as well. You want to control when he dies. Um, as you can see at the start, I came in here and started channeling um, in order to help healers. Um, I really prioritized channeling, spamming heals, you know, stuff like that on our kill, um, really, because that was where the damage was going to be a problem. Um, you know, killing these targets is not that big of a deal. Um, getting Kael'thas healed up when needed um, is going to be a big deal. So you'll see that, you know, I helped AoE a little bit. Um, here I helped to vivify some of the healing fonts or, um, and stuff just to kind of help every little bit you can. You know, Windwalker's not going to pump out a ton of off-spec healing, um, but every little bit ha helps, and certainly your, your damage here is not going to matter. Um, so you see we pushed. Uh, our goal was to kind of blow through... Um, Darathos in time for the shade. Um, so I, you know, got a you get an extra touch of death on Darathos, um, and then you really need to focus on on the shade. So the key to the shade is avoiding um, the cleave, but getting in this Ember Blast when ne when necessary. Ember Blast is a really great ability to use touch of death, diffuse ma or not touch of death, sorry, touch of karma, diffuse magic um, in order to help your healers a little bit. Um, You'll see here the phoenixes are coming. I'll drop my ring of peace just to help keep them grouped up a little bit um, as best I can. Um, this is our first shield. I was not assigned to use my cooldowns in the first shield, um, but I did use you know a little bit of a storm earth and fire there um, just because I was sitting on cool cooldowns. Uh, you notice this. I have not used my cooldowns really yet, or I'm not using them certainly on cooldown. Um, on this fight, I was assigned to the second round of shields um, so that's when I'm going to want to use all of my cooldowns when you're assigned to a shield you're going to want to kind of pre get things going as you see um, I had my touch of uh, or sorry Zuen and, and weapons of order up and ready to go before the shield came up um, that way by the time the shield is up I'm already in um, as you can see I had this little I was trying out this new weak aura I ended up not using this weak aura and elected to just track the haste um, which you'll see in my later videos um, but this was just kind of an experiment of uh, d helping myself decide between weapons of order and, and what to do. Um, I decided it wasn't helpful. It was just visual noise. Um, yeah. So, you know, as you see, um, you know, really at this point, it's just about spamming and, and helping to heal. You know, I had some extra energy tossing out a couple vivifies. You know, it's not going to win the fight for you. But what else are you going to do at this point? Um, you're going to get more ads. You know, the, the idea is to burn these ads down. This is where you really can push DPS um, quite a lot in, in order to kind of get a little bit more damage. Um, I ran over here to do this pedestal and got ticked out from the Phoenix. Um, so that was kind of a waste, but every little bit helps here. Uh, more ads are going to spawn at this point. You're more or less just waiting for your healers to help push to the next uh, the next part. The occultists certainly um, are a high priority with getting their essence fonts out. Um, so you want to you know blow them up really as quickly as you can uh, and focus your damage there. So this you know this is where if you wanted to pad damage, if you wanted to be you know doing a lot of AOE using calculated strikes um, as a conduit, you're going to see a lot of value here for that. Um, in terms of just keeping this part of the fight cleaner. Um, I certainly could have done a better job of managing my Mark of the Crane stacks and stuff like that, but I really wasn't um, worried too much. You know, so the, the goal was having everything here. Um, this, you know, we popped Bloodlust a little bit earlier, you know, and just AOE everything down with the shade here, focusing the shade damage um, as best we can and getting into uh, position. You know, so this was identical to the previous phase. You're going to see I'm going to pop all my cooldowns. I should have saved it a little bit um, because I should have um, waited for the uh, shield to come up, um, but I didn't, you know, so uh, I got a little greedy and, and distracted there, but certainly could have done better. Um, but again, you know, the goal of this is just to get through these shields, get through the shade, control the phoenix and, and get things cleaned up. We had a vanquisher here that we didn't always have on some of our pulls, um, you know, so that was less than ideal. But at this point, it's just about, um, you know, finishing out the fight um, before the end. The big, you know, the big onus in this fight is on the healers. Um, but certainly when it comes to these shades, you want to be able to say that you're on your game and, you know, really doing the best that you can to pump out um, as much damage as possible. Uh, so you see, they've got the second shield. This is when I pop my other Storm Earth and Fire. 
you know, ideally this would have been, you know, when I pop things, um, I realized now that I was targeting the Vanquisher instead of targeting Shade. So I wasted quite a bit of damage um, into the sh into the shield. So it, kind of fortunate we were able to get it down despite that. Um, but as you notice, you kind of go through my videos. I tend to be much higher on the charts um, and I'm not here. That's really because I just didn't care as much about overall damage. Um, I really focused very heavily on... Um, you know, trying to put the damage where it needed to go. And that's really the, the important part of, of this fight. Um, the last thing that I'll say it's important is that, you know, you roll in here like me to check your loot. Um, Kael'thas does port down here. And if you're too close, he kills you. So whoop, before going to dark vein. Um, yeah. So just pay attention to that. Um, certainly, but yeah, so that's, uh, mythic sun King. You know, it's all about really what's your focus. If you want to pad damage, there's plenty of places to pad damage um, if you want to just kind of take it easy and focus on what you what is important uh, you can do that as well so uh, thank you for watching i hope you found this educational um, you can check in the description below for a lot more information please like and subscribe this video um, comment below with what you think other videos i should make or you know your thoughts on this video things i could do better and so on support me through patreon and paypal um, also in the description so thank you very much um, and until next time have a good night morning afternoon whatever it is wherever you are